What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of On The Bench with Pete. Now before we go any further, I've got to apologise. This cardigan, my wife hates me wearing it. And uh, you know, she keeps saying, you don't wear that old thing, you? but it's my painting cardigan, it's my painting clothes. Do you guys not have painting clothes, aprons, whatever? Uh, you know, I suppose I should have an apron really, but uh, yeah, for want of something better. And it stopped it getting over my t-shirts and whatnot. But uh, I usually wear old t-shirts anyway. Not, uh, you know, for painting. Usually. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm hopefully going to use some work on some more MDF terrain, painting-wise, uh, in this episode. So let's get to it. Well, the second thing I need to apologise for is that drill or whatever it is saw in the background, that's my neighbours they're building a fence I think at least I hope um, <laughs> yeah, but it's just the other side of Mini War Zone so could get a bit noisy now I need to prime the inside of this, um, I'm going to be doing the outside, working on the outside as well but um, I think before I need to do anything else I need to prime the inside of this not too sure about the Capital Metro subway bit yet. I was just kind of experimenting a bit with that, really. Might leave that as is, but I might do the roof and the sides here. So I'm, I'm thinking of doing my um, bank vaults as well. Just priming them up. So this is the Panzer Grey by Vallejo. Just using this whole bit of plastic from the blister pack as a temporary uh, palette because why not? Why not? So sorry about all the banging and whatnot, but that'd be my neighbour. Anyway, let's get on with it. So it's been quite an eventful, um, quite an eventful few days for me actually, and I'll, I'll go into that in a moment. But first of all, I just want to say I hope hope you guys have all got some good projects on the go and are you know settling down with those and um, ridding your wells of your unpainted miniatures either your bare metal or your bare grey plastics and um, yeah or maybe you're building something that's always fun as well isn't it well sometimes it is sometimes it's not it depends what it is you're building I really enjoyed the building of my triumvirates, but uh, they were interesting builds, I'll say that, that's all I will say. Largely because I didn't know what I was doing. But it seemed I was doing alright, and in the end it turned out just fine. Just trust in uh, what you think, and you'll be fine. It's because it's you're venturing into new territory, I think. And, um, yeah, when you've not built something before like the first time you build a land raider I suppose or a rhino or something you're not sure what's going on you know it's that first time isn't it uh, maybe it's just what was that Belisarius core I mean maybe it's the same with all the Admet guys I don't know because I just don't know them you know I don't know what you're thinking you could have done this with an airbrush yes I could but to be truthful, if I run it through an airbrush, it'll take me like two minutes, whereas this will take me a little longer and I can get my thoughts out and it's it's nice and relaxing and part of this hobby for me is the therapy side and um, I find I need the relaxation. Uh, so yeah, I mean I, I do, airbrush. I'm going to be using airbrush on that admit guy I was talking about for sure I think uh, I'm gonna have a think um, I don't really want to do a tutorial on him I'll probably just do updates and uh, show you how I'm coming on because I'm not 
I'm probably, I'm probably just going to be making it up as I go along. I'm not too sure of myself. Whereas usually in a tutorial, not always, but usually, I know what I want to do or achieve. Apart from one or two areas that I might take me by surprise. Like, oh, I didn't think about that. Which was the case with Captain America recently. I wasn't too sure about how I was going to achieve the effect I wanted on his shield. And in the end I used those Spirit Stone Red, I think it was. Like, use the same technique that you would for creating a gemstone effect for the red rings on his shield. And that came out brilliant, I've got to say. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, apologies once again if you if all you can hear is drills going. Like it seems a bit quiet at the moment, but uh, I'm sure it will start up again in any minute. Cutting and drilling and whatever else. Like I said, I think he's erecting a fence his side of the property, which is good for me. Works for me. There you go, look. Hear that? You can't not, can you really? <laughs> anyway. I hope you can still hear me okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to get this uh, subway entrance all primed and then I can work on uh, what colours I want to do. I think I'll use like greys to simulate grey stone wall. I've got to paint the um, subway bit on the front here, I know that. Look at this. I meant, to, I actually got this Panzer grey by accident. I'd meant to buy pure black but as it turned out it's quite a nice primer and I'm quite glad I got it you know yeah so it's good I wouldn't have ordered it uh, purposely but there you go yeah, it sounds like he's screwing in bits of wood for like a panelling of a fence or something. But these are the kind of sounds you get in the summer anyway really, although it's not summer yet but uh, expect noisy times ahead I imagine. Anyway, I was saying, interesting few days, yes, Tuesday I think it was, my wife gets a phone call from her mum, taken bad, uh, she's got a heart condition anyway, which I couldn't tell you, she's got a history of heart problem, but uh, yeah, so anyway, she was told to, if she if she can get to the hospital within an hour, and they'll be expecting you. So of course, my wife was out at the time, but she came back home. Uh, I was out here constructing some other bit of terrain, the bit of police station, I think. Yeah, it was, and. So of course I got ready and I, I took them up in my car because it's bigger than my wife's. Easier for my uh, mum-in-law to get in and out. So that's what I did. Um, so we went up there. And uh, as is the case with A&E, you know, you can be expect to be there for the night, you know, just waiting. But 
but because of her condition, uh, the nature of her problem, I mean, there's currently a three and a half hour waiting time in the uh, But she got sore immediately, seen immediately. Get my English right. Um, but of course, it's, she gets assessed at like a primary assessment, like a triage nurse, I suppose. And it gets taken into another assessment area, like the more serious one, I suppose. And um, to cut a long story short, she ends up on a medical assessment ward. She had to spend the night there, of course. She wasn't happy about. Um, Which can't say I blame her, but uh, you know, such is uh, the way of things. Right, so that one's private, you know. And then we went up again on uh, the Wednesday. Spent like most of the day there with her. Uh, but she was then later released eventually, but pretty much most of the day gone. Well, my wife took her. Uh, day off of um, work to do that for her and um, but yeah it was very tiring for her <laughs> she was worried obviously unfortunately I'm no stranger to going to hospital and A&E and all that kind of stuff I've done it many many times for different people for different reasons so I kind of knew it was in for a long haul, but I was, I was shocked that um, they released her on the Wednesday, I thought they'd be keeping her in for longer than that, but uh, obviously she didn't want to stay in, but sometimes you, I, you know, I think you need to, but there you go. Just eating a jar of baby beetroot, by the way. I, I've got a thing for beetroot, I love it. Uh, my tongue will be all red, I expect now. And stuff. What is he doing? Now? Banging something. So what I need to do now is wait for that primer to dry. Have myself a sip of tea. Back to the beetroot. I was telling my beetroot story. So yeah. Anyways, let's get some greys going. Here. Kind of like an overbrush I'm going to be doing on on this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overbrush. So I'm going to use this Army Painter vehicle slash terrain brush. I'm just going to see. lid off. See how it goes. This is quite a stiff bristle brush this one. So just work my way down the top of it. Do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
want some of this grey showing through underneath. That's what I want for that. with that oh, that's good I like that now I'll keep it dark inside anyway so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that keep it dark don't want to spill the pot or anything silly like that sides here. The recesses can stay dark, I don't I don't mind that. I will be doing some lighter greys on this as well. Fortunately, nothing came out, so that was a bit of luck, stroke of luck. It's just the first layer really, so I'm trying to see how it looks more than anything. And you know what, I think it looks okay. I'm okay with that. for a first layer. I don't know how grey because I've got two pots of it really. The lid on my open pot is broken so let's say I'm looking for an excuse to use it up but no, I'm looking for an excuse to use it up <laughs> I suppose. But yeah so there is yeah I mean, that's come out well. I'll, I'll use my Joker model down here because he's kind of size you know this is going to be for Batman joke at the entrance to the sewer uh, not the sewer subway yeah so he's just coming out there yeah I think that'll work quite well I'll get to oh excuse me to yellows on the subway mm. I think I'll do two I think I'll do um not Uriel, I'll do uh, Avalon Sunset and a uh, Uriel Yellow, I think. Yeah, I think that will work out quite nicely. I've ordered myself some 
more files, little uh, precision files, like jewelry files or whatever they call them. The metal ones, uh, because I prefer them over the like the sandy, gritty ones because they last longer. So there is that. Uh, right, yeah, that would be said. I'll the sunset first. Put this on straight from the pot. Lovely jubbly. No details inside the lettering. And then I'll go uh, along them again. Hang on guys, just going to stop. Sorry about that, that was just uh, my daughter calling in. Uh, apparently my my mum rang. It says your phone later. I'll phone her back. Later probably. She's brought the phone out to me now, so... <laughs> the phone could ring, guys. Great thing about MDF, I find, is when you're doing things like overbrushing, is... It kind of dries qu uh, quickly enough for you to handle it. I suppose it kind of soaks it up a bit. I don't know. What I'm saying is, it's not the grey is not dry, but it's dry enough to handle. So that's good. I'm just putting this S on here. see how that looks. It comes out alright. Yeah. Yeah. Works for me. Works for me. I'll only have to sort of that was only like a Literally like a two minute interruption, if that, so I'm not bothered about it. Some letters are easier to paint than others. hasn't quite been cut cut in evenly so this will be interesting Yeah, that'll do, I think. Not bad. Seem worse. The key with anything uh, model wise is as long as you're happy with it, that's all that really matters. But it is, uh, it's a nice part of the hobby to try and improve. I don't know how many pieces of MDF terrain I will be building. Quite a few, I imagine. Because it's a lot cheaper than plastic terrain. Or resin terrain. We've got some resin. Small bits, though, you know. Not like buildings or anything. More like... 
accessories and that kind of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Time I'm done with this, I'll be able to move on, finish off uh, the priming of the safe. Z. So I'm gonna I'm gonna paint them to make them uh, like metal, so lead belcher, null oil, maybe runefang steel or stormhost silver, something like that. So yeah. My mother in law asked me today, am I still doing my YouTube thing? Yeah, I said, Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's going really well. She actually asked me what uh, sort of videos is it. I think she knows I make models and paint models, I think. I mean, my own mum, she just totally doesn't get it at all. She's like, mm, yeah, whatever. Smiles in the right places and says, yep, yeah, uh, sounds good. But, uh, <laughs> She says herself, well, I don't know, I ain't got a clue what you're doing. But, uh, as long as you're happy, son. Which I am. Extremely happy. I like to make videos. Here we go with some more drilling. Or cutting it could be, of course. Because the other thing you get is um, lawn mowers and hedge trimmers and trimmers and all that kind of thing. And if the council come around and do it by the roadside, not then it's really noisy because I was here using petrol ones. Last letter on this one. We're up to the like half an hour mark, pretty much, or just over. Oh. Now my dehumidifier has decided to kick in, so we've got it all going on today. I may have to turn it off. But I'll just finish this letter. Goodness me. So it's noisy neighbours and noisy stuff there. So that's the base yellow done. Other than sunset. I'm just going to go and turn some stuff off. Do my head. I also turned off my fire as I was, makes a clicking noise. That just the neighbours now. Uh, yeah. 
Capital Metro Subway. Subway. I think it's time to do some more of these. Mm, nice cup of tea. Because I had to go back to the hospital today to the heart specialist with my mother-in-law today. It took me 25 minutes just to park alone. That's how bad it is at the hospital. 25 minutes just driving around trying to find a space. Obviously, I dropped her off first. But man, yeah. Yeah, it's killer trying to find a parking space. It really is. I'm not going to paint the inside of these safes. Don't really see the point in doing that. Stages though, because it's not as straightforward as you think. Just paint. I think I'll just paint them all every side. You can't. You've got to hold them. I'm not messing around with. Vices or anything, I just just get this done. So, yeah, back to the hospital today. So, that's fun. Fun time we have. Very fun. Yeah. Fun with the hospital because then I had to try to find her, which was fun, not easy. Yeah, I'll be in level six cardio. As far as I was aware, it's an outpatient appointment, which is on level six as well. No, you didn't have a clue. But anyway, thankfully I wasn't there too long today. Another place I want to be, really. I don't suppose anybody does, really. Even those that work there, you know. Well, probably most of all those that work there. I saw my... I did see my ex-sister-in-law. Um, what was it? Tuesday night? No. Wednesday morning. Wednesday during the morning because my she's like on the cardio ward so I quite expected for mother-in-law to be ending up on that quite expected that yeah, I think they're looking quite good now so what I will do move them over here a bit uh, thinking right just get some lead belcher on the banister bit in here, possibly, possibly. Yeah, I think I think we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Warplock bronze might be a cool one to do. I know you're not going to really see it, but I just think it'd be really cool. Just on the inside railing. Yeah, so we're going to do some Warplock bronze for that. It will do anyway. I'm going to put it on the pad. 
palette thing here. I'm not gonna bother filling it down. MDF, I think that's one of the beauties of MDF, you just don't need to. a treat. Yeah, quite quite liking the way that looks. Looks good to me. done as well. That'll be cool. Joining, um, oh, really should shut up. I'm joining the uh, Adepticon vlogs that people have been doing. Really enjoying them. It's the next best thing, isn't it, if you can't get there? Yeah, but think about some of the rules uh, for the new rule edition. Uh, some of the stuff that's been confirmed for eighth edition. But there's so much going around. I can't remember which has been confirmed, and which hasn't. So I'm not going to talk too much about that. Plus, there's other people doing it, that sort of thing as well. But it does sound like um, there'll be some changes with movement, uh, salting. Which, hey, I'm happy with that. More than happy with that. Right. So we have, have these as bronze as well, shall we? I saw this piece of terrain on the, <clears throat> on the internet, I just looked at it and I thought that looks super cool, it really does. I mean, they look good, non-painted I think, you could quite easily get away with not painting them I think, but you know, it would, but they do, <laughs> they, I mean they just look like wood, yes they do. And, and um, But they look so good, I think you could get away with it. But sometimes you just need a little bit more. Sometimes the mind just needs a little more convincing. You know. Most of the time you can get away with it. But, uh, just makes it that easier, that bit easier to um, imagine. Start doing metallics, mess up your water. I did put a wash on the back there, the Capital Metro subway. Just on and dirty it down a bit, I suppose. Do, 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 do. 
So if I put paint on these bank vault doors, it might be harder to shut the door, so I might just put it on the front and leave it. Right, so we're going to be looking for a lighter grey now. For these. I, I, might, I might do yellows in, in the middle there, that might be kind of cool, like, like a sort of lighted effect. I might do that. I've got the. Well, I better do the greys first. So, a bit of a lighter grey. Of course, we've got Dawnstone, Astronomic, and Grey. Okay, we've got Dawnstone, which might be good. Astronomic and Grey, which might be another layer after that. I think I'll go for the liquid Dawnstone. Towel. This isn't going too badly, quite like it. I'll do this another layer of uh, Dawnstone and uh, of grey rather, which will be Dawnstone, and then possibly call it a day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's what I'll do. It's, look, it's looking alright, I think. Oh, you can play it on table. Like I say, I'd rather not. I personally would rather not play them un, unpainted, but I think you could quite easily. So, right, so this is a lighter grey. We'll start with the top here. And work down like that. I think that looks all right, actually. I do. I think that looks all right. Take out the bolt bearing. I'll chuck the lid away because it's literally is the end of it. I've got a new one so it's all good. Yeah. 
thinking it looks a lot better. I'll probably only have one of these anyway. Although saying that, you know, you could have in your own objective. It's because I'm planning. I am planning on uh, doing an underground table. Like the subway, the train, and all that. I think that would be pretty cool to do. the end of that Dawnstone. Okay, so there we are. I could just put some uh, primer on the fronts of these now. Yeah, I'll probably do that. So I'll just shut the door. Oops. Just shut those doors. Oops, one's come away. I'm gonna have to super glue that. That's a pain. But what I'll do, I will um, put the primer on first. Yeah, to just super glue will sort that out. But I will put the primer on first. that dries and then I will super glue that um, hinge thing down. Couple of things to glue <laughs> but that's that's okay. Lots of bird song lately, I've noticed, especially in the mornings, you know, more than usual, which is nice. It's really nice. Right. So the boot needs super glue, but ultimately, they're done. So, subway, further painted. I'm gonna, I'm going to. Do these yellow, I think, as well. The inner bits and two of these safes. So that's all good. So I'm going to end it there. So thank you once again for joining me on this uh, episode of On the Bench with Pete. I hope you've got loads of stuff done. It's been a blast for me. I know that, and it's just great to chat, to chat whilst painting. You know, to paint chat away to you guys it's just it's, it's all good and especially on a day like today the sun is shining the birds are singing the neighbors are being noisy but what can you do hey eh? <laughs> anyway remember all brushes lead to war and we'll see you in the next video bye for now